The fourth season of the anime begins by showing Miss Tong Yue, who received orders from the chief judge, her superior, to protect Mo Fan because he was feared to be the target of the Black Order, who wanted to take the Sacred Spring from him. Therefore, Tong Yue then contacted Mo Fan, who was with Sin Si at the time, to ask about his whereabouts in the Sacred Spring. Mo Fan told her that he had drunk the Holy Spring and would return home as soon as possible. Tong Yue asks him to remain careful and promises to meet him soon. Since the campus was closed in the winter, Mo Fan became bored at home doing nothing. He finally chose to go to the King Tian Agency, hoping there were exciting cases he could work on to fill his spare time and increase his strength. Upon arrival, Mr. Bao told something quite unique, where there was a request from a client to become Mo Fan's bodyguard in exchange for hefty money. Mo Fan, who saw the request, looked very surprised because he had no idea that he would become such an important person who must be protected. He insisted he could protect himself with strength so he didn't need anyone's escort. But on the other hand, Mo Fan was worried that the Black Order criminal organization was suspected of being the mastermind behind the destruction of his hometown. Because of that, he contacted Ling Ling and asked her to protect his family because they needed protection more. When Mo Fan was alone in the park, he was suddenly attacked by three young men who turned out to be Ming Chu Magic Academy students. After being defeated by him, they revealed that they were only carrying orders from Jia Wenqian, one of the Ming Chu Academy students who envied him for living with Nu Jiao. As a result of the assault incident, he became the subject of gossip from his schoolmates and was called to the principal's room to explain everything. After hearing Mo Fan's explanation, the principal decided that Mo Fan was innocent and let him go. Before leaving the room, he expressed his desire to train in the Three Steps Tower because he wanted to increase his strength to withstand the attacks of the Black Order. Hearing this, the principal promised to arrange a time so Mo Fan could train there as soon as possible. A few days later, the principal took Mo Fan to the Three Steps Tower which carried the concept of endless space and has a very large gravitational field. At first, Mo Fan seemed to have a hard time practicing cultivation there. However, he quickly adjusted and managed to increase his strength. One day, the principal asked all the students to come to the campus hall, where they would be briefed on the annual assessment that would be held soon. In this year's assessment, the students were asked to catch the escaped shadow beasts and return them to their original place. The principal promised a prize of the opportunity to practice cultivation at the Three Steps Tower for whoever got the best score in this year's assessment. Knowing that the shadow beasts like beef, Mo Fan looked for information about some places where beef theft was common. In the evening, Mo Fan got news about the beef theft that had just occurred at a food processing factory. But as it turned out, these were all traps that had been prepared by Yu Wang and the Black Order organization to capture Mo Fan. At the same time, one of his classmates, a young man named Xu Zhao Ting, was at the factory with his girlfriend, Lulu, as they were also investigating a beef theft case. However, Zhao Ting had no idea they would face off against Black Order criminal organization members. A fierce battle between them was inevitable. Knowing that Zhao Ting was a thunder mage, the Black Order decided to capture him. When they were about to kill Lu Lu, suddenly Mo Fan appeared there and rushed to save her. Mo Fan managed to defeat several members of the Black Order and kill the Black Raised Monsters. However, he did not manage to save Zhao Ting who had already been taken away from there. The next day, Mo Fan and Nu Jiao were seen discussing their mission for the annual assessment, where she assumed that there would be a battle between students for the Shadow Beasts to get the best score. Mo Fan and Tu Tu didn't deny that because the number of the Shadow Beasts hanging around was certainly not as large as the number of first-year students of the Ming Chu Magic Academy. After that, Mo Fan visited Lu Lu, who was resting in her room, where she revealed that she and Zhao Ting got information about the whereabouts of the Shadow Beasts in the factory from one of the Ming Chu Magic Academy students. Hearing that, Mo Fan realized they had been framed by the Black Order. He then asked Lu Lu to rest and not worry about Zhao Ting because he would continue searching for Zhao Ting's whereabouts. That night, when Lu Lu was alone, suddenly, she was attacked by the black raised monsters who infiltrated her room. She tries to save herself by running to the roof of the building, but the monsters kept chasing her. When she was in a state of urgency and had no way out, unexpectedly, one of the black raised monsters actually protected herself from attacks by other monsters. For some reason, she felt that the monster protecting her was Zhao Ting. Elsewhere, Mo Fan received information from Miss Tong Yue about the Black Order criminal organization that has a special method of turning humans into black rised monsters, as happened to Zhao Ting. Meanwhile, Zhao Ting, who had turned into a monster, was ordered by Yu Wang to kill Lu Lu. Unable to disobey his orders, Zhao Ting finally kills her, the girl he loves the most. Not long after, Mo Fan arrived and was shocked to see Lu Lu who had died. Zhao Ting then asked Mo Fan to kill him immediately because he couldn't stand the suffering he went through after turning into a monster. With a heavy heart, Mo Fan finally complied with his classmates' wishes and ended Zhao Ting's suffering. 
After that incident, Mo Fan contacted his best friend, Xiao Hu, to get information about the whereabouts of the Shadow Beasts. After getting information from Xiao Hu, he contacted all the students and informed them that he had caught the Shadow Beasts they had been looking for. Mo Fan purposely lied by saying that the Shadow Beasts had drunk the Sacred Spring, which he did deliberately to provoke the appearance of the members of the Black Order. As Nu Jiao had predicted, the battle between the students for the Shadow Beasts finally happened. Because the students put all their strength into getting the Shadow Beasts, the principal then created the magic barrier to suppress the students' magic power so they wouldn't kill each other. Knowing that a magic barrier could suppress a person's magic power, Yu Wang took the opportunity to immobilize Mo Fan and capture him. Yu Wang then ordered one of the academy's students, a young man named Fu Tianming, to capture Mo Fan and seize the Sacred Spring. Elsewhere, Mo Fan seemed to be preparing for an attack from the Black Order. Even though he is inside the magic barrier, he can still use the dark elemental magic power and can use it more freely. Meanwhile, the students were surprised by the appearance of the black raised monsters who suddenly attacked them from all sides. The attack was part of the Black Order's plan to capture Mo Fan and obtain the Sacred Spring. Not long after, Mo Fan met a male student who was an accomplice of the Black Order and got into a fight with him. However, Mo Fan could easily defeat him with his lightning elemental magic power. Apparently, not only the Black Order was interested in Mo Fan and wanted to kill him, Luo Song and his friend are ambitious to beat him because he has humiliated them. They made a deal with Fu Tianming and his companion to capture him. Upon learning that, Mo Fan chose to avoid fighting with them, as he wanted to focus more on finding the mastermind behind all of this. Mo Fan finally came face to face with the mastermind who was none other than Yu Wang. He then told Mo Fan that he had joined the Black Order since he was seven. Several years later, Yu Wang finally created his first cursed beast which was none other than his own father. He reveals that Zhao Ting is his second cursed beast and intends to make Mo Fan his third cursed beast. As a member of the Black Order, Yu Wang turned out to have made rapid progress in magic, so he was able to create the cursed beast that was hard to beat. Mo Fan was even overwhelmed by the cursed beast which injured him quite badly. On the other hand, Yu Wang finally found out about Mo Fan's lies about the Sacred Spring. Since the magic barrier was about to disappear, Yu Wang decided to escape from there before his actions were caught by others. Before leaving, he asked Fu Tianming and one other student who was an accomplice of the Black Order to kill Mo Fan. However, he could easily defeat them. After a fierce battle, Mo Fan finally managed to kill the cursed beast with the shadow element he had mastered well. After that incident, he was accused of being a member of the Black Order. But then, a man named Ye Ying, the Magic Association's representative, arrived there and praised Mo Fan's hard work in stopping the Black Order's plan to take control of the Sacred Spring. Sometime later, Mo Fan and several other students, including Man Yan and Nu Jiao, were selected as exchange students at Yandao Academy. At first, Mo Fan refused to become an exchange student, but after the principal gave him a magical weapon that could ward off curses, he finally agreed to the principal's request to make him an exchange student. Mo Fan and his companions finally arrived at Yandao Academy and were welcomed to rest after a long journey. The next day, the Mingchu Magic Academy students would face off against the students of the Yandao Academy in a magic competition. Even though the fight was not attended by spectators, the results of their fight would be announced by the National Academy Bureau. In the first round, Man Yan and the other three students would fight against four students from the Yandao Academy. Unaccustomed to working together and only relying on each other's individual abilities, Man Yan and his team finally had to give up losing to the Yandao Academy students. Not long after, Mo Fan arrived and prepared to fight in the next round with Nu Jiao and the other two students. When he was about to enter the battle arena, he was surprised by the presence of Mu Ningxue who turned out to be the best student in Yandao Academy. Mo Fan seemed excited because Mu Ningxue would be his opponent in this round. The Yandao Academy students felt confident they would win the battle because Mu Ningxue had joined them. Without further ado, Mu Ningxue immediately showed her superior to the other students. With the ice elemental magic power that was the hallmark of her family, she could put Mo Fan into a corner. Even she could dodge Mo Fan's mid-level lightning elemental attack technique and countered his attack with spirit level ice elemental magic power. After going through a fierce battle, Mo Fan could finally surpass Mu Ningxue by expending the pure fire elemental spirit power he got from Shishui City. Because he managed to break her signature technique, Mu Ningxue finally gave in, and Mo Fan was declared the victor. After the match, they were visited by an old man named Song He, the principal of Yandao Academy. He asked them to go to an abandoned city called Jinlin which had been a den of demons since 15 years ago. They had to collect data and check the city's current state to determine whether Jinlin City was worth rebuilding. After practicing and increasing the level of his spirit beast strength, Mo Fan was ready to carry out the mission. 
Arriving at the tunnel leading to Jinlin City, Mo Fan and his companions were blocked by a horde of monsters who forced him and Mu Ningxue to advance first to defeat the monsters and open a path. Tired of facing the seemingly endless swarms of monsters, Mo Fan and his companions decided to rest and continue their journey the next day. After that, they headed to the center of the city and intended to enter an abandoned government building, where Mo Fan was on duty to guard outside with one of his friends. However, the building turned out to be a plant monster hideout attacking Mo Fan's companions. Although the monster was defeated by a giant dragon, in the end, they blamed Mo Fan for the incident, especially after one of their friends was injured. Because of that, he decided to go on the mission alone, even though he had another goal, defeat the monsters and collect their souls. After successfully defeating the monsters' swarms and obtaining the data needed for his mission, Mo Fan returned to his friends who were acting strangely by attacking each other. Mu Ningxue told them that their companions turned strange after drinking water from a lake not far away. After further investigation, Mo Fan and Mu Ningxue finally found the mastermind behind all of this. It was none other than the heart-controlling spider monster which could control people's feelings and make them kill each other. They then teamed up to subdue the spider monster. Combining their strengths, the two finally defeated the spider monster. Upon returning to camp, Mo Fan and Mu Ningxue were shocked by the news that one of their friends, Ming Chong, had died after fighting his friend Mingxuan while under the spider monster's control. As the situation got out of control, Mo Fan and his friends decided to return to Yandao Academy. Moreover, they have collected quite a lot of data for research. However, just as they were about to enter the tunnel, a group of guards led by Lu Zhenghe's older brother, Lu Nian, stopped them and intended to arrest Mo Fan because they wanted to subject him to the experiment of the new magic they had created. Several of their friends died in the incident, as Lu Nian and his men attacked indiscriminately. Mo Fan and his companions then teamed up to fight Lu Nian and his men. After successfully restraining their movement, Mo Fan then asked Mu Ningxue and the others to hurry away through the tunnel while he lured Lu Nian and his men to the center of the city. Then Mo Fan was meditating to perfect all the magic elements he had, while ordering his spirit beast to defeat the monsters that wanted to attack him. After gaining control of the monsters, Mo Fan ordered them to attack Lu Nian's men who managed to find his whereabouts. On the other hand, Lu Nian apparently managed to catch Mu Ningxue and the others and ordered Mo Fan to turn himself in immediately. Not long after, John Kong arrived there to help Mo Fan. However, Lu Nian ordered his men to take Mo Fan's friends to the giant dragon's lair. When John Kong was fighting Lu Nian, Mo Fan rushed to the giant dragon's lair to save his friends. However, the giant dragon was not an easy opponent for him, even though he was a mid-level thunder mage. Because of that, one of Lu Nian's men, who felt guilty for involving the students in a dangerous situation, gave the new magic element they had created to Mo Fan. He then swallowed the new magic element to save his friends and turned into a demon-like figure. With his newfound power, he managed to defeat the giant dragon and swarms of monsters. After saving his friends, Mo Fan went to Lu Nian to take revenge for what he had done to his friends. A fierce battle ensued between them, until in the end, he managed to defeat Lu Nian. But after that fight, he seemed to have difficulty controlling his thoughts because now he had a demon element in him. Not wanting to hurt those closest to him, Mo Fan decided to stay away from all of them. After that incident, everyone seemed to go on with their own lives. Man Yan and Nu Jiao seemed to visit Xin Xia to tell what happened to Mo Fan. Even so, Xin Xia felt sure that her brother was fine and would come back to her sooner or later. The moral that can be learned from this anime is, to fight for justice and protect the people we love, even though we have to sacrifice ourselves.